Today I'm talking about cookies and how something as simple as a cookie can take you all the way back to your childhood. So right now I'm back visiting home. When I go by my old school and I go by the bus stop I used to wait at, I can like close my eyes and remember a little bit of what it was like being a kid. Can you guys remember when you didn't have your rent due every month or some egregiously expensive cell phone bill to pay? We just like went to school and that was it. And I'm not saying it was better, just different. So when I close my eyes and reminisce about my childhood, one place that immediately came to mind was here, JD's Chippery, a, uh, a cookie shop. I could, I could smell the cinnamon baking in the oven and I could taste the dense, semi-sweet, like rich, dark chocolate melting in my mouth. <sighs> One, I apologize for the wind. Uh, two, it's two days later. We're back here at JD's Chippery. The middle of the was closed. Oh no. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that's so depressing. I was thinking about like why I really want these cookies so bad. So I haven't been back in Dallas for five or six years. I'm back here for a month right now and it's I'm feeling very nostalgic. If you move away and then you go back home, you know, there's lots of things that kind of, there's certain things you remember, there's certain things that brought you joy when you were a kid. And these cookies, these cookies, these were one of those things. I remember when I was younger, when I was in like middle school, sometimes people would bring in surprises into class. People would be like, oh, what's that? What does such and such bring to class? Oh, you brought JD's cookies, oh! Everyone was always like so happy. It was just, it was just one of those things that we had here in University Park, one of our hometown specialties. You know, everybody's hometown has like a special thing, a special restaurant, or I'm sure you can remember in your hometown, you know, there's that one special thing that you miss or that you love doing or getting when you were a kid. Um, for me here, one of those things was JD's Chippery Cookies. What's up? Hi, Jake. Nice, nice to meet you. Shape. My hand's freezing. It's chocolate, some soup, nuts, oatmeal chocolate chip, milk chocolate, snickerdoodle. Yeah, sure. Yeah. sure. <laughs> Bye. It was so nice. I went up talking with uh, those very nice people for a long time, just about this area, about Snyder Plaza. I didn't know, but all these shops that are around here are called the owners, and everyone kind of knows each other. So it's kind of like a tight, a close knit uh, community. Speaking of owners, I actually met the owner, Julie, today, who was extremely nice to talk with. She told me that she and her husband opened the store about 35 years ago. And today, she actually uh, went in at 4 a.m. to open up the bakery. Pretty common for her, she said, which I think is, uh, is pretty awesome. So sometimes food can have a little more depth to it. It can have a little more substance. It can have like an emotional history. When, when you guys close your eyes and you think of home and you think of your childhood, what foods come to mind? What does it smell like? What did it taste like? You know, who made it? Where were you when you ate it? What was your daily life like? Tell me, uh, tell me in the comments below. I'm interested to hear. And just so you guys know, I, I wasn't sponsored by JD's or anything like that. Uh, it's just a piece of my childhood that I wanted to, that I wanted to share. Oh yeah, so how did the cookies taste? Well, I made you guys an epic slow motion uh, delicious cookie video for you to enjoy. So, cheers. <laughs> We all know a proper cookie needs to be slightly crispy on the outside and warm and gooey on the inside. So that was the crispiness. This is the softness.
So some of you might be thinking, hey, he just spent like the last five minutes talking about cookies. Or some of you might be thinking, I really need a cookie right now. 